Hey everyone, welcome back to the design system series. In this video, we're going to create a responsive grid system. Now grids may seem boring on the surface, but trust me, they are secret weapons for creating crazy consistent designs. But before we can unleash their power, we need to get into the details. How many columns should we use? What margins? All the gritty grid fundamentals. Not to worry. In this video, we'll break it all down so you can grid it up like a pro. Let's go! Our goal today is to build a flexible, reusable grid system using Figma. A key part of that is planning breakpoints for different devices like mobile, tablet, and desktop. To start, press A. In the right sidebar, you see the predefined frames. Under the Desktop tab, choose 1440 pixel desktop. Hard coding widths works, but it's not very future proof. Let's explore a better way using variables for adjustable frames. Don't know variables. Peep my color variable video for the lowdown. Make sure nothing is selected. In the right sidebar, click on variable icon. Create variable and choose number. Change the number to breakpoint and value to desktop and zero to 1440. Click on plus to make variants for mobile and tablet. Let's set the value for the tablet to 768 and for the mobile to 360. These are the breakpoints I usually use on my projects and it works perfectly, but you can change it based on what you want. Select the desktop frame and click on the little gear here and choose the breakpoint for the width. Let's make a duplicate from the frame and in the layer section, click on the variable mode icon and select tablet. Make another duplicate and go the same way and this time choose mobile. Okay, frame stuff done. Now the grid, first desktop. Click on plus to create a layout grid. Open the setting, change the type of grid to column. Count is the number of columns you need in your frame. For desktop, I use 12. Margin is the space between the frame edge and the content. You can set it to 96 or more for a landing page, but if you want to design a dashboard, 24 is a better choice. And the gutter is the space between the columns. I set this to 32. Make sure that you set the type to stretch. Unfortunately, these values don't get variables, but we can add them separately. We're done with the column grid, but we need a row grid too. Add another grid and set the type to row. We create this to make sure our design has a consistent vertical rhythm. Set the margin to zero and gutter to eight. Change the type to top and set the height to eight too. You see what happened? Increase the count to a large number and now you have it. Now you can put anything in your page and make sure it is divisible by eight. That is an important point. Let's do the same thing for tablets and mobile. Select the grids and hit Control, Command, and C on your keyboard. Choose the tablet frame and press Control and V. The row grid in all frames is the same, so leave it. In column, change the count to 8. Margin to 24 and gutter also 24. And for the mobile, copy and paste the grid and change column count to 4. margin to 16 and gutter to 16 too. You can add all this grid to style. Boom, a responsive foundation. Now let's see it in action. Before that, let's add our margin and gutter to our variables. We're all set. Now let's take a look at this landing page and add our desktop grid to it. We want to show this state section in our landing page. Select all and press Control Command Alt G to create a frame. Add an auto layout. Set the space to gutter and the left and right padding to margin value. Set the width of the container to the breakpoint. Elsewhere, make sure the items in the container are filled. And there you go, perfect strict alignment. Obviously, not everything has to align. Take a look at the rest of the landing page. You can see that items do not align with the grid, but this is completely okay. 
The grid just keeps our containers in check, so that's how you can quickly craft flexible grids with variables. Subscribe to the channel and comment what you want to see next. Until then, stay creative.